Los Angeles Clippers extend Paul George's contract. They add an extra $190 million for four years. So within five years, Paul George is going to be getting paid $226 million for the rest of the five years. And what's oddly enough is he's going to be getting paid more than Anthony Davis, which is an NBA champion, which for the next five years is going to be making four hundred uh, five years for hundred ninety million. So Paul George is getting paid more money than Anthony Davis, which goes to show you that it all boils down to you know you don't get paid what you deserve, you get paid what you can negotiate, and that saying is true because what Paul George really deserves is a kick in the butt. Uh, he needs to, you know, fear that the Clippers are going to either put him on a trading block, A, or not re-sign him, B, for next season. But the Clippers extended him. Now, what is the basis behind this whole contract, you know, doing it early and getting out ahead of it? The Clippers want to definitely re-sign Kawhi Leonard the next season because he's a free agent next season. So... If they didn't lock up Paul George and everything was up in the air, they would risk losing Kawhi Leonard, just, you know, similar to, like, how the Rockets are about to lose James Harden. So it, it, it would be like a flash in the pan kind of thing. You hear a couple years, and then now you're gone. So even though Harden has spent a lot more years in Houston, you, you get you get my drift. You get a star, and you lose him, and it kind of decimates your franchise. I'm glad Paul George got his money because, you know, got, Lord knows people got bills. People got bills on top of bills that you don't even know about. However, this is not anything that I don't think they necessarily want to do this because they're in love with Paul George. Essentially, they're trying to move it to a new arena. They want to secure their fan fandom and, and you know their patronage by making sure they have somebody to couple with Kawhi Leonard. They want to give Kawhi Leonard that assurance that we're behind you 100%. We, we traded for Paul George. Not only that, but we're, we're extending him, so now we want to extend you too. And then they have a one-two tandem to really compete for championships. But more over to me, what I feel like is it's more to just compete with the ratings, you know, have a viable product out there, and just to entertain. Because the way Paul George plays in the playoffs, it makes no sense. It's like this man has like a, a split personality. He plays good during the regular season. In the playoffs, he's shooting shots on the side of the backboard. It makes no sense at all whatsoever. And you, you, you've seen this in multiple playoff series, especially with the Thunder. Man, th these boys got eliminated by the Jazz. They got eliminated by um, the Blazers in horrible fashion. So, And a lot of it had to do with Paul George. And then just now recently, the, the Clippers, they lost. You know, people want to say Kawhi Leonard has to hold the brunt of it. Of course, he has to hold the brunt of it. But Paul George is terrible. Like you, for for the fact that two guys are terrible and only one of them has a real injury excuse and the other one doesn't, it's bad. But that's within itself what the, what this assignment is all about. It's just trying to make sure that the Clippers have a viable product. Because as long as LeBron James and Anthony Davis are over here doing their thing, I don't think the Clippers are really in it to compete. Because the way that they imploded up 3-1 and everybody's pointing fingers at every other person... Makes no sense. Paul George was one of the key ones that said they, they didn't make any adjustments. What adjustments do you need to make up 3-1 in every single game that you lost from the Denver Nuggets comeback? You were up double digits. What more adjustments do you want to make? Each game, they were up 18, 16, 14, in the fourth. What more adjustments do you want? Just play better. Like There's no, more, no other excuses, but that's the Clippers in a nutshell. We'll see what it is. To me, this just looks like a Darius Miles, Quentin, uh, what's, yeah, what's it, Quentin Miller? Quentin Richardson. Quentin Richardson. Darius Miles, Quentin Richardson. You know, we're going to be fun. I think the Clippers are a fun team. Not yet to see them really be competitors. Hoop Show, who speaks Hoopla? Like, comment, subscribe.